Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Technic Pack with me, Tivek. So, let's um, kick this off. We're on episode 11 since the horrible accident and about, I think it's 21, yes, it's episode 21. I just want to show you, I upgraded my chests here to uh, diamond chests and then on with the crystal chests so you can see what's going on inside them. I'm starting to get a lot of bees though so I might want to do something to like empty them out. I don't know. We'll see. Um, also I ran into some interesting problems with um, with my rig and uh, I'll fly over there and I'll show you guys. If I can get through this door. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so here I am at uh, the mining rig. And uh, as you can see, it's now one up. That's because I came back after I had, st after I had started, it, uh, I started it on this cycle here. And it was missing everything on this side up. So I did place it back, but it's not completely running as it used to and in addition it actually did um, move itself up one so I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna just rebuild this part or not we'll see about that but some of the th functions are still there but uh, not the sideways it refuses to move for some reason. I think it might be because I've forgotten a frame at some place and I'm gonna have to experiment a bit to find out where. But I'll do that experimentation off camera I think. But I wanted to check with you guys because I am thinking about ending this season and uh, going into a new world with um, uh, with a new set of mods. I'm still gonna be using Technic style Minecraft, so I'm gonna be using Industrial Craft and uh, Build Craft and all these, but I am not going to be using the Technic pack. I've had a lot of issues with it, especially lag and um, it's not very fun at all to constantly battle lag like this. So, yeah, I thought I'd let you guys uh, decide that. Do you want me to keep going on this one for a while? I know that I got some interesting builds, but now that I know how to do them, I can easily create them in a new world. Plus, I can optimize it a bit. Uh, my sorting system is not effective at all, and I would like to try, for instance, um, the red power sorting system, because it's supposed to be quite awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to take a break after this episode and uh, leave you guys to decide the next step. How's that sound? Yeah, alright. Well, let's go from there. In this episode, though, I am... Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna build. I'm gonna fix up this rig. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna knock this part down and uh, rebuild it. I know how to do it, so I'll do that off camera, and once I got it working again, I'll be back with you guys. Alright, guys. I rebuilt the whole thing and I hope that this lag does not cause any side effects. It shouldn't. But uh, it's practically the same design that I had before. Move the frames around a bit. Yeah, made it look alright. I'll just dress this whole thing in panels or something. But looking at this it's now digging away and I just set it to um, I think it's 27 cycles and I did a few changes on how it moves and digs so it moves I'm gonna show you it 
digs and then moves one, digs and moves another two and three before it starts digging again. The good thing with this is that it doesn't s waste any cycles. Uh, on the last one though, I made it dig on every because only this row will dig when you move one. So yeah, that's why I did it. So, but this one will happily dig away, but it did not enjoy being in an unloaded chunk. I think that's what caused the problem before. So I'm gonna stick around until this one has finished, and that's gonna take uh, quite some time. So I'll be back with you guys once it's dug out all the way down. All right, back in a bit. Cool. Look at it digging. So um, it became night time, so I figured I'd show off <laughs> a little neat feature of the Swift Wolf Rending Gale. This one. It will move away enemies. They can't get close to me, and arrows will sometimes go through, but most of the time they will miss. Very neat. Then I can just whoosh! Boom! Wow. Oh yeah, it's a lightning storm. Awesome. Yeah, just want to show that because it's a very neat little function. Wow, that's loud. Yeah, so I'll see you in a bit again, guys. Still hanging around the quarry, watching it dig. It's quite interesting how these ores form. I mean, look at the amounts that we have here. This is a quite big iron vein, and we have a lot of coal up here. You can see that iron tends to spawn better once you get down a little bit. So, I mean, I went down here. These are all holes that I made from all the uh, ore that I found. Like, for instance, this redstone here. I'm going to grab that. Yeah, this uh, tool here is very neat, I tell you. But I don't think I can dig any further down. I mean, bedrock will s quite surely stop the machine. So I'm going to have to find a way to have it detect if it can go further down or not. Hmm. I don't know if that's doable. Yeah, we'll see. So anyhow, I thought I'd tell you a bit on what mods I'm thinking about using in the new uh, in the new LP in the next season, so to say. It's uh, oh, hold on a second here. I'm browsing to see which uh, mods we have loaded. Is that even possible to see? Well, I'll tell you instead. Um, I'm going to be using a few mods that uh, you have seen in the Technic Pack and a few mods you haven't seen. Um, for instance, there is a mod that's called Smart Move, I believe. Let me see here. It's called as much as... I can't find it in my list. Um, where is it? Ah, I can't find it. I'm pretty sure it's smart move. All right. Basically, this one um, it uh, lets me walk up to edges and walk up them, sort of, um, like this edge here. I would be able to hold a button and it would climb up. It would be a smooth movement, although a little bit slow. It gives a bit more realism to the game. I used it in conjunction with uh, the Terra Firma Craft mod and uh, I must say I really enjoyed it. Um, Terra Firma Craft is a very good mod. I'm not gonna do an LP of it though because it's not LP material, I think. Uh, n at least not for now. Um, it needs to be a bit more developed and uh, uh, 
coexist with some other mods. I don't know. I just think that it's not quite my cup of tea for an LP. But, yeah, that's one of the mods that I'm going to be using. Smart Move. And, what else? I am going to be using, of course, Buildcraft. Um, we're going to be using that. As well as Red Power. Industrial Craft. I will install Forestry. And uh, some add-ons to these. I'll also use Steve's cards. I really like uh, the way that mod lo looks. I haven't tested it myself so much. We'll do most of that in-game. Um, I am still undecided on Thomcraft. I think it's a good mod, but... Um, it's a bit of a rough one getting started with. So I'm, I'm probably gonna use it. Yeah. Let's use it. Yeah. And of course, Railcraft. We need that one. Uh, in the next uh, season, I will definitely use Railcraft. If, of course, you don't mind me doing that. It'll be sort of starting over-ish, I suppose. But... I see it as a way to get a fresh start and like, yeah. Um, something that I will fix in that series is the ore generation a little bit. So I'm going to remove this copper. Uh, it's not needed. It's just extra stuff in my bags. I'm going to be using, I think that's the one, the build craft ore, I think. Uh, could be wrong. But that should make the ore generation process a bit better and uh, we shouldn't get clusters of different types of the same product like different types of copper next to each other right um, I'm also going to be using iron chests well you've seen that one and uh, I will also use uh, the ender chests I think they're very nice so uh, these really add to the game. I really like them. Um, logistics pipes will be in. And also greenstone. This is a very, very, very cool mod. Um, yeah, there, there's really no end to what you can do with it. It's... Uh, I'm gonna have to show it once we get to it in-game, but basically you can add greenstone wires um, what you do is you uh, uh, you can connect a button that you have. Let's say I have a button there, and I have a door over here, and clicking that button would activate the door. Cool, isn't it? Yeah, I think so too. It's very, very, very handy, and um, uh, it doesn't care if you have blocks in the way because the green stone will go straight through them so you can make some really really cool contraptions with it so we'll have some fun with that um, and that's about the mods really I'm gonna be using and of course we are going to be using not enough items we're going to be using inventory tweaks to get the nice little sorting and um, and um, what else am I going to be using that's in the... Yeah, we're going to be using Optifine. We need that for a little bit of speed. So yeah, that's about it about the mods that I'm going to be using. And my, this does take a long time, doesn't it? I mean, seriously, look at this. Got so much more to go. In the meantime, why don't we... No, we can't. We can't actually program the computer while it's running. So, yeah, I'm going to have to wait until it's done. So, see you guys once it has finished running completely. So, that was a bit unfortunate. Um, I ran out of energy in these bat boxes. I didn't think that would happen. But, yeah, so... Um, I might have to expand this whole thing with a couple of more battery boxes, I don't know. 
I should be able to put I mean if I put a frame there and two more boxes and another frame and another frame on each side I should be able to place at least four boxes there so I think I'm actually gonna grab I only have I don't have any in here hmm yeah so I reset it to one of the end positions by bringing it up one let's do cycle left it should work out and then I can start again so we're on 28 so it's let's do 28 down to 5 that's uh, uh, how many? So let's do 10 cycles. Well, we can probably do 11. That cycle should bring it down one. Yes, perfect. And since the cycle starts from that side, what's the status of the battery boxes there? This one is charging very slowly. There we go. Yeah, so let's do. 10 times, well, let's do 11 times cycle. And while we are doing this, I might as well just dash over here, hop in here, and uh, grab myself the wrench. And oh, what is going on here? Huh. For some reason, my base isn't loaded. That's um, interesting. I don't know why that happened. That one should switch to green. Okay. So, I was hoping that I could craft up a battery box or two, but I don't have the materials here. So, we're going to have to wait until this one is done anyhow. Yeah. So, let's activate that one so I have it for protection, just in case anything gets to me here. And, uh, I suppose we wait then. Can I let you wait with me? No, not really. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. So, see you once it's done. I'm just looking at it now, finishing up the last cycle, I think. Might have sent it on another one. No, that's the one, that's the final one. Although, I should send it to dig. Hmm. Let's send it one full cycle more. And let's see. Spinning. Woohoo. Uh, there we go. Let's do cycle. Oh. Caps lock. I monitored the battery levels here and uh, I started running low. So I grabbed some batteries and just filled this machine up on the go. So in the next episode, sorry, in the next machine that I build, uh, the next time I build one of these, I will definitely see if I can get some sort of ender chest, um, ender chest to uh, automatic charger like this going for this kind of purpose, just to keep this one stocked with a battery. So we'll take out empty batteries in this and stock it with a new full battery. Would be very useful. 
Alright, so it's now digging the lower layer. Wow, this is far down. And this one, I while I was waiting, I was just digging it out using this one. Sort of like a neat little thing to do. Not that I usually find anything this far below. And I don't think you're supposed to. It's mostly just rock. Oh, look at that. I actually found something. Neat. Yeah, so... I think that was tungsten. It has no use yet. But, as far as I understand, uh, Elram, uh, the author of Red Power, is working on it. Let me see. Let me just... Uh, Switch these and yeah, it was two tungsten ore. All right, so let's just take this one a whole bunch up seventy something. Are these guys uh, fully charged? Yes, that uh, should work. So let's do 70 times bore up. And I should pull the whole thing up one frame at a time. I'm quite happy with this. I had to knock it down and rebuild it, but I remembered. And uh, that's cool because then I know the principles of frames and I should be able to do some designs of my own soon and not just blatantly copying the way other people build theirs. Although I must say um, I wouldn't have been able to build this without the help of Direwolf so a big shout out to you. Let's see. That's uh, one at a time getting pulled out of this I might not. I might have to get a few more. I don't know. So what I could do now is to move the whole platform 16 back. Although I probably can't. Because it will get stuck in this. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see if that's possible, I suppose. Did I make these words? Hmm. Well, it should be easy enough since I have the numbers. Um, yeah, I should have made the forward and backward motion. Yeah. So. I'm going to let this episode go up and uh, let you guys decide on what I do next. Um, we have a fire going on. Can I just stop it, please? I don't want any forest fires. That looks really neat. Let's not go too far from the core, though. I don't want any bugs. So, um, as I said, I'll upload this episode. I'll let you guys uh, vote and say your thing on uh, if you want me to start in a new world. Oh, look at that. I should have done 71, shouldn't I? Bore up. Did I actually program these words? No. I didn't got left and right oh well but yeah you get the idea look at this all the way down to bedrock big hole in the ground I could expand this to be even bigger and uh, have it yeah, that would be that would actually look cool if I expanded this another 16 here it would pass under the platform. I, well, I'd have to design it so that it builds under the platform. And that way it would 
clean out a very big area. I mean, 32 by 32. Wow. Well, 32 by 16, but just expanding the beam, I could make it dig out a very, very big area. But right now, it's digging a whole chunk. That's cool. So, yeah. However, I'm going to head back to base and uh, take a look at how my stocks are after these two cycles and uh, see why my crafting system isn't responding. So I'll be right there. All right, I'm back in base again. And it looks like I got about four stacks of iron. I don't know how much silver, about a stack of gold and uh, plenty of copper and tin again. Very nice indeed. I don't know how much stone because most of it will have been filtered into this. But looking at this, that's a lot of energy. So let's charge up this Klein Star just for the sake of it. So, yeah. That's uh, gotta be it for now. As said, please let me know. Uh, if you want me to continue in this world, I will. But right now I'm a little bit short on what I should do next. So, um, I could explore uh, railcraft uh, a little bit, I suppose, and um, I mean, I have lots of materials there, and uh, we could do some more red power stuff, more with frames, maybe, I don't know, uh, but yeah, as I said, uh, it's up to you to decide. For now, though, I'm going to head off, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode or in the next season depending on what your vote is i will make a short episode if you decide to uh, support me changing seasons now i will make a video closing this so until next time bye bye